watch many American movies. How do you know? Because they must follow the culture in the movies. Oh, what culture are we following here? Here in Hong Kong, we mainly follow the British culture for historical reasons. Oh, I see. No wonder both found me weird. You are not weird, but just different. Yes, I'm always special and unique. By the way, last year I watched a Campus TV episode on the differences between British English and American English. I remember watching it too. This is always an interesting topic. It is because there is cultural dimension of it, like ground floor versus first floor, as we discussed today. I am also intrigued by the way the date is written. In British English, the order is date, month, year. And Americans write it the other way around, month, date, year. What about pronunciation differences? Oh, they do sound very different. That's what I spot from the movies. Do you remember any examples? Let me recall. The most notable difference is the sound R is stronger in American English. Like car versus car. Winnie, you are so funny. Motor versus Motor. And then there is a difference in stress, like in advertisement versus advertisement. Oh, I never know this. I always pronounce it as advertisement. Both work in Hong Kong, just like schedule, tomato, stamps, etc. And how do you pronounce them in American English? Let me try. Schedule, tomato, stands, bravo. In fact, different people handle the air sound differently. Yes, different people have their own exposure and pronunciation style. Are there any pronunciation differences which are very huge? Let me see. Dynasty. You mean dynasty? What about medicine? That's medicine. Either. Either. And either works. Privacy. Privacy. Besides pronunciation differences, what about grammar differences? There are a lot. My teacher told me that Americans seldom use shall and they use well all the time. Yes, shall is a bit old fashioned too. Hmm, I shall go home soon and do my homework. Haha. <laughs> I also noticed that Americans tend to use tick more often, like tick a bath versus have a bath, which is British English. This is just like, do you get a book in American English versus have you got a book in British English? Oh, the book! You should get her the book, right? I beg your pardon? Do you have my book? Have you got her book? I love it at home. What? How dare you? Sorry, my bad. It's my library book and it's still today. Let me pay the fine for you. Of course you should. Calm down, calm down. Don't argue over a book. You two are friends and the book is just an object. Return the book to me tomorrow. Mark it down on your schedule. Okay, on my schedule. Oh my god.